contrary to popular disinformation and widely held but erroneous belief, as human beings, we do not possess the right to be apathetic about whatever we want. This notion that I don't care whether we are enslaved is also not a right. You have a right not to care what whatever popular celebrity of the day, what fashion they happen to be wearing. Because I certainly don't care about those things. And that's my right not to care about them. I personally don't, have, don't care about what's happening in popular sports or popular music. Couldn't give a damn, couldn't care less. I don't have the right not to care about the dynamics that govern human freedom. I don't have that right. Why? Because refusing to understand it is putting other beings in jeopardy of slavery. There is no such right not to understand our rights or say, we don't care, I don't care what, what a right is. I don't care whether society is enslaved. My own grandmother on my father's side of the family looked at me in the face one day and said, I know that we're all enslaved and I don't care. I'm like, you have to be kidding me. I said, how many children do you have? Two. How many grandchildren do you have? Two. How many great-grandchildren do you have? One. I said, you have two children, two grandchildren, and a great-grandchild, and you don't care whether the world is enslaved? And you think that's your right not to care? I mean, you have to be kidding me. That the people like, people like this exist within our own families. No one has the right to not care that slavery is continuing and that freedom is being destroyed. This is not a right that exists in nature. Again, you have a right not to care about any frivolous thing that you don't want to care about, but you don't have a right not to care about rights and freedom. It's a duty and a responsibility that you can never shirk in nature. There's also complicity in evil and slavery through silence. Contrary to popular disinformation and widely held but erroneous belief, as human beings, we do not possess the right to remain silent about whatever we want. This is complicity by saying, even if absolute immoral violent behavior is conducted and I know it's wrong, I'm going to sit back and do nothing. Not even speak about its wrongness. And that's not a right. If I sit back and watch a perpetual condition of duress and slavery take place in my midst and I don't speak out against it, I am by my non-action uh, uh, partaking in a complicit act with evil. I am condoning by my silence and apathy the evil that's being conducted. And that's not a right. So it's, this is hard for some people to hear because a lot of people say, well, a, a wrong can only be an action conducted. No, it's not that simple. You can perform wrong in your thoughts and in your emotions and in your non-actions. Wrongdoings can be performed. So even this crowd needs to explore this dynamic more and understand this dynamic more. And I understand this is going to be controversial even in our circles. We possess the right to be silent about whatever we want only if that silence does not diminish the rights and freedoms of others. In other words, it is not a right to remain silent about the ongoing condition of human slavery. Not a right. By passively accepting evil and remaining silent, we are participating in the evil. Those who through their silence allow evil to be done unchallenged are just as immoral as those who are doing it. And the meme here that I found on the internet says, when freedom is at stake, your silence is not golden, it's yellow. See, that's where we find most of our friends and family members. Some of my friends and family members will say, oh yeah, I recognize this is going on, but I want no part in exposing it. I want no part in talking about it. You know, that's called being a coward. And being a coward is a bad person.